Hey everyone, welcome back. So today it's a slightly different video. I'm in Lowestoft in Suffolk to meet a family who've bought a pier. This is them behind me. So it's a family run business and most of the family are here. Who have we got? Daniel. Michael. Samuel. Victoria. Charmaine and Benjamin. Michael. Ben. Megan. James. And you are the family that bought a pier. So as you know, I love walking around piers. So when the opportunity arose to go and check out a behind the scenes tour of the pier in Lowestoft, I jumped to the chance. They decided to show me around. I met some of the lovely staff and also had a sneak peek into the day in the life of the pier. So we're gonna start at the beach bar. It's a lovely day for it, Victoria. Yes, it is very nice. The kind of weather you want when you own a pier. <laughs> Definitely, if it could happen the whole six weeks would be great. Okay, so show us around, I'm excited, the beach bar. Yeah, Piranha Joe's, on holiday beach bar if you like. We get loads of the tourists and locals as well. I do love the theming though, yeah, the palm yeah. trees. Yes, oh yeah, the palm trees well. Actually, we see the palm trees advertised for sale and was like, based it on that because we like them so much. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Best way, I think. Yeah, well we knew we wanted to go for like a holiday vibey beach bar, but we see those and thought they'd be great. Where did you see them for sale? The marketplace on Facebook but it was oh, really of, yeah, it was a couple of years ago and it was just when it was like they're different and this is such a great yeah. insight the fact that you know you own a pier and you think all right I'm gonna go on Facebook oh, I could buy it. they'll look great yeah. for my bar yeah, yeah it, <laughs> Amazing. it was everyone always sits outside like there's this. nobody inside our favorite she's always in here hello Lisa yeah. hello, my are you all right <laughs> yeah you look hot and sweaty yes. <laughs> right, thank you <laughs> I mean that in a good way um, I love the branding though look at that that yeah. is brilliant well that's because we've got our um pineapple cocktails where you can have a pineapple scooped out and have the cocktail inside. oh my god that is so good a real yeah. pineapple a real pineapple wow that is amazing if we ask Lisa she might make us one wow someone's that is a big pint of Guinness yeah. oh my god I have never seen that's a it's two like a pint it's a stein yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's going everywhere <laughs> This is one of those like JML things yeah. that you'd buy in the yeah. shop, yeah, wouldn't you? It is, yeah. Need some elbow grease for that. I suppose she's got big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It actually leaves that bit in the middle. Look at yeah. that. So are these quite popular? They are very, very, very popular. <laughs> messy though to me. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a messy one. Yeah. Love the smell of pineapple. Yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I guess you could put a little bit of alcohol in there if I was feeling a bit frisky. Well, would you I'm like not gonna, to I'm not going to. You could if you want. <laughs> you, would you like no, a splash I'm, of rum? I'm working, so I better not. <laughs> okay, well, we do a virgin pineapple then. I guess the only problem with this, it takes a lot of time to do. Yeah. Yes, it does, but it's worth it in the end. Oh, look at that little pineapple thing in there. Yeah. There we go, my lovely. Wow, that is that is absolutely amazing. Now this is something I've never had before. A virgin pina colada in a pineapple. I'll try it. If you've ever had a pina colada before, they're lovely and creamy, but pineapple pulp, mm, I can imagine with a little bit of extra alcohol in this, be a very good day. Let's have a look at the view, shall we? Yeah. yeah. So this this is obviously a bar area, yeah, a little entertainment bit, That's nice. Karaoke. Yeah, nice breeze coming out here as well. But what a view you get here, look at this. Over the sands. Yeah, right the way down. It is really, really nice. This is what surprises people about Lowestoft, how nice the beach is. Of course, it's an award-winning beach as well. The sand is, I think it's, it's definitely over the other side, but the sand is pretty super fine it's sand, really, isn't it? Like you'd get really abroad. Yeah, yeah, it's actually <laughs> one of the, I, I think, one of the best beaches I've been to in yeah. the UK. For definitely the sandy in Suffolk, beach. definitely in oh, Suffolk yes, at definitely. least. Well, a lot of people don't realise how nice the beach is, but other people say we specifically come here just for how good the beach is. Yeah, this is what I always say. I've done videos in Lowestoft before. I always say, literally, this side and the other side of the beach is by far the best. And I know Lowestoft, a lot of people knock it, and yes, that there isn't that much to see in Lowestoft, but definitely the beach and the pier, it's the big draw. It's all you need, yeah. isn't it? Lowestoft did used to have a seafront air show, which used to bring, you know, hundreds of thousands of people into the area but sadly it was all I don't know why it's the funding funding is probably why it stopped I think yeah probably every pier has to have a gift shop <laughs> check out the inflatables yeah. look at hey, look at this a lower stuffed beach rugby ball didn't know you can get them did you get them made yeah, then you, oh you, you see them, right you have them made at, uh, you you pick what area you want to put on oh, that's so yeah idea. yeah that's a good idea <laughs> gift shop yeah. wetsuits deck yeah, chairs all that kind of stuff Some there's glasses. Sunglasses. Even glasses. Because when you want to read a good book on the beach, of course you can't come to the seaside without having some rock. Even a 
Lowestoft chopping board. Yes. That's actually really good. I miss that. You see, that almost looked, the way you've modelled that almost looks a little bit rude. I like that a lot. That's actually really good. You're I don't the only know. person that has said that. Oh, you got a cushion. Did you know even such thing existed? A Lowestoft cushion. Now, my wife always goes on at me. Yeah. She, she thinks that I buy so much tap, but I love these kind of little knickknacks, these little boats, little ornament things. I've got, Memorabilia. I've probably got about 50 of those in my house. Really? I think your wife's right then. Yeah. <laughs> it's tap. Is that a card? That's a card. Yes. And a mug. I kind of want to get everything. I want to get the whole set. I you think your wife may come back and yeah, she complain would. of me. Probably, and that's probably too back. much. <laughs> she might like that note. Um, a Prosecco, Prosecco towel. towel. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got these as yeah. well. And they're lower soft as well. Well, we'd like to capitalise on Claremont Pier and be able to have that, but I don't think there's our customers yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to that in a little bit, actually, because you can capitalise on Claremont Pier if you actually want a little piece well, of the yes, pier. You can, we'll talk yes. about that a little bit later on, though. OK, we'll walk around and see how Amanda's getting on. Look, she's serving customers at the minute. So you would think on a hot day like this, people, would they want coffee? Well, they do, but a lot of them have iced coffees ah, and idea, yeah. our milkshakes as well, I really think. And, um, so you are wearing shorts, Amanda. They are short shorts. Is it? They're short shorts. <laughs> Is that where the milkshakes yes, come from? Yes, the milkshakes. We put them in there. Mr. Mark. Oh yeah, nice. With cream on them, and yeah, they are really nice thick ones. Busy making the cappuccinos. <laughs> Do you like your job? Oh wow. Well. <laughs> That is a very good question. Yes. Of course I do. Yeah, she loves it. She, <laughs> she loves, loves it. Here with us. It's, yeah. It's like, it's like a social. Are life. you a trained barista? I am. I worked for Costa before I worked here. Did, wow, you get the best. Yes. So can you do? Um, you know how to do the whole velvetizing of the milk oh, and that. Oh yes. Wow, that's she an tried art to form. Teach me, but it didn't go it. well. It wasn't very happened, good. But I know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> can you do a little smiley face in it? But you can't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. So I love the fact you've got like a. A coffee place in there and ice cream and donuts going yeah, on in here. Are these like standalone buildings then, aren't they? Yes, they Separate are, to the yeah. pier. I mean, that one is actually connected, you can see. That, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. one's um, been connected with the doorway, but they, yeah. They, might, they was built afterwards. It wasn't a brick built structure before years and years ago, yeah. and it, before we built them, and then they must have put planning in to have them done as a brick built yeah. structure. So, as fish and chip shops go, yeah. I have to say this is one of my favourites because the view in there is brilliant. Yes. When you sit in there eating your fish and chips, bit of a takeaway can i can we walk yeah, yeah, in let's go in we're yeah. trying to go in when it's not too busy because obviously lunchtime rush and everything i feel like i've got to be quiet yeah. coming in it's a great view. but yeah. yeah this is this is what i love about this now i've always said that when you eat your fish and chips if you have a view like that they'll taste even better i'd love to in the future if we could actually even drop the windows and have full length views That'd be good. that even opened up for days like this. I mean, this is the beach which we're saying is, you know, the sand is absolutely beautiful there. Yeah. Love the theming though. Oh, it's a nice little fish and chip restaurant. Oh, I'll tell you what, respect to the staff today though, because it is super hot, really hot. as well. Really hot. So th this is definitely behind the scenes. Yeah, Obviously, excuse, ex we'll excuse the rubbish, it's fine. Yeah. Some signage going on there. Hello to the guys doing the ice cream. Probably popular James, today. This is our ice cream shop Hello, manager. James. Ice cream shop manager. How's yeah. it going? Yeah. <laughs> You're making donuts. Yes, you're oh. making donuts. Are yeah. you going to have a look? Oh, I love donuts. Yeah. This this is the thing when you come to the seaside. That the whole donut thing, donut mix, and the batter. And I used to love watching them turn when they go up on that shelf. Hi, have you got like a secret batter you use? Secret recipe? Yeah. <laughs> Grace can't tell anyone. Apparently we've got you. the best donuts on the seafront, so oh, really? I've got to keep it secret. Well, there you go. <laughs> Look at that, it's working. This is, oh, I don't know if you've seen these before. As a kid, I used to watch these and I used to captivate them when they get flipped over and they come up here and then they fall into the sugar. The bag now. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's a good idea, yeah, actually. Yeah, put it straight in there and then sprinkle the sugar in the bag. Good idea. How long does it take to cook these donuts? Uh, about three minutes from start to finish. They look golden and crisp. How much are your donuts, by the way? Uh, one for eight pence and five for three fifty. Five for three fifty. I won't go on about the fact when I was a young boy, they were, <laughs> a, what was it, four for a quid? I was going to say, I bet mean, it was actually. <laughs> yeah. I've been coming to Lowestoft for a while and um, the, the old pier never used to have this, this balcony on here. And I always used to think that would look good if someone actually 
put a bar up there and you did it. So we did, yeah. Yeah, great idea. Let's have a walk up there, shall we? Mind you, are you going to get run over by the train? Oh, no. <laughs> Keep your speed that down. as well, the land train as well. Actually. Is it? Yeah. You literally own everything. <laughs> You're going to tell me next you own part of the beach. No, no, no. no. Did you find it a bit of a struggle to kind of like put in? Did you need to do uh, extra building work for it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We had to have engineers and everything. And it, it did take a long time. It was a lot of hard work. And obviously, we had to get planning permission. Because I think, obviously, you know, when it comes to owning a peer and owning a business, you have to think about the cost. And is it worth it? Will it make your money yes. back? Yeah, that is the thing. It, well, it was a really big expense for us. But I think in the long run, it, it, well, we know it's going to be more than yeah. worth it. Can, can we go yeah, up? We let's can go, go up. Let's go we up. Go up. We'll this is crazy how much you've actually managed to pack in this pier there is so much to still see and I feel like we've seen <laughs> loads already yeah well I mean the, the bar um, we've had a complete refurb like uh, in the, the winter just gone we've nice. completely redone this the bar used to be over in that corner right it's been moved over here everything as you see we've added the windows the full lip windows for the view oh that's nice yeah, yeah that is really um, nice and obviously we play all sports up here we have all sky sports and, and BT sports for all the big major events You've got to capitalise on the... Because uh, was there ever any windows in here? I don't think there, there was. There was some little top windows, yeah, but we just I think I decided that. to drop them right down. And Great it was, idea. Yeah. Love the ceiling. Yeah. All the lights changed. Yeah, of the LED yeah. colours too. That yeah. looks really nice. This is so nice and cool up here. So yeah, this is the centre bit of the pier that you used to be able to just see from down there that was just a normal flat roof and now look at it. It's actually a really cool space. You must be super proud. Yeah, no, we're really pleased with it. It's, it's gone really well. A nice view as well. Yeah, it's a lovely view from up here. You can just see how pretty the buildings are in Lowestoft. Yeah. And somebody told me, I think it's the buildings further down there and architected them all. Someone famous, I don't know, but it was all the chimneys. There you go. A lady knew. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really great space and it obviously stretches obviously yeah, all, all the, the all way the along here. It's when the sun comes round this gets really really busy. Yes yeah oh it does in the afternoon and early evenings it's normally packed out here and it will be today with weather like this. You know what you need up here Victoria? A hot tub. <laughs> yeah, but a cornered off no, area VIP. You can imagine selling it. Just rope this area off and just like charge people hundred quid VIP with champagne. Do you know what? A bit that like might now go on the list. <laughs> that would be great. You know, like um, like Ball Ocean party. Beach and like Ibiza. Just party. have it going. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> I want to take commission on that. Yeah. Okay then. But look at the view over South Beach in Lower Stuff. That is truly amazing. Wow. That is super nice. See, look, I can see ice cream maybe. Uh, yeah, or no, another that, bar. That's a bar behind there. Oh, well, isn't it? You see, you've thought of it already, you see. I'm available for consulting. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the family and go, Tim had a great idea I but know, I'm definitely about say. the hot tub. Be <laughs> charging people in the summer. What's that? I've never seen that around a dark ball before. I, you can I'm see people have the, actually hit that. Yeah, I'm one of the people that would hit. Yeah, yeah, me too, uh, actually. Uh, I'd probably yeah. get from around here. I'm not yeah. that very good at... No. In fact, not too many people have actually hit in there. No. Oh, wow, you've got sports screens. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look we at got that. from America, actually. I, I found them online and ordered them. I love this. Yeah. Are you telling us where you bought all these things? Yeah. How much did they cost you, you reckon? Oh, uh, now you're asking me. <laughs> it, I think it was over £100 each, but I can't really? actually remember. Yeah. Because sometimes when you see these things online, you think, well, they actually look that good when you buy them. Thought they'd, um, yeah, so we've got one for each table. So there is the, you've got a nightclub here? Yes. I didn't know that. You're going through the staff entrance, Ooh. so this isn't the way you come in. <laughs> this is amazing because I thought the pier finished here, so there's more of it around yeah, here. There's more. That is when we're ready on Saturday night, as you can Ooh. see, it's all a bit, but that is our. So is this open? Is this You've opened this already? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. It opened in end of August last year, on the August bank holiday, I think was our first um, right. weekend. We're open on Saturday evening every week. That is actually entrance up, you come from downstairs. Oh, so you come the entrance up here. Yeah, yeah, you come through here. Club. This is like crazy. It's like Aladdin's cave. When you yeah, look at the pier, more to it than what you think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, like when when I saw it from the outside and I saw the the bar in that over there, I thought, well, that that's probably it because you've probably got all this for storage and stuff. No, but well, we did. Believe it or not, before we opened the nightclub, this was actually storage and there was stuff everywhere. Oh, really? And don't ask me where we've put everything because I don't actually yeah. know. Have you got any storage? Have you got any loft? No, there's no <laughs> loft. We have got on the stage. We have got some storage um, which we use. You've got an Oh my god, you've got an absolutely... Yeah. The stage goes even further back than what I can see there. Yeah, and this is the, yeah, these are the two VIP booths that you can hop 
fire. There's a little Aladdin's cave out there with all rooms. And oh, there's. Oh, there is, can we have a look? Yeah, we can have, have a nose. Quick look. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> I haven't got the keys to the offices. So. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> See, I thought this was just going to go out onto the. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no this. Wow, well, does this go? This is like the back. Cleaning covers. <laughs> I love. Do you know what I love? Just going and opening random doors. Yeah. Oh, can we? Is this backstage? Yeah, well, it is sort of backstage. What's this in here? Is it? Oh, that's a toilet. You know. <laughs> but at least you've got a toilet here. It keeps yeah, going. Oh, yeah. You got another. That's the office. Yeah. It's massive. And this, I guess, this is um, the office. Yeah. 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 Y
um, the state that it's in. So we're just, you know, we're trying to raise the money to be able to get it so everyone can walk back out there again. And I, and I think it's fair to say this isn't just, you know, for you guys as a business, I think it's, it would be great for Lowestoft to have its peer back to its former glory. Ben's joining us because he's going to give us some facts. Ben, you're um, Victoria's brother-in-law. It's in a bit of a mess, obviously, but um, we were just saying about how expensive like the boarding is. How much does like all this cost? Right, okay, so this is Eki hardwood. It's a tropical hardwood timber that we have to have especially imported. Obviously, as soon as you start mentioning stuff like that, that's when the price skyrocket. Why do you have to have it imported? Eki is a marine hardwood timber. It's one of the specialist timbers. You just don't get it over here. Yeah. And I assume that you can't just go to like a Juicens or no. something like that to get no. the wood for the pier because it's got to be You really, proper... really can. So lucky enough, we have dealt with Smith Brothers in um, Alton Broad. Um, they have been managed to get over the, the decking boards themselves. But the cross members, obviously, I don't know if you can see by here, those cross members there think they are so specialist because the size of them, when you order them in, they're 5.5 meters long. So as you can imagine, they come in, they're very heavy. When we had to lift them in, there was about eight of us to lift it. Just for this? Just for that one beam to go in. That's insane. Yeah. So yeah. what are you planning for the, for the actual pier itself? So are you planning to go any further or just keep it as it is? So and what we've got now is from, here, from where we stood now to there is eight metres. Another 52 metres past that where it juts out. And then potentially I'm in talks with another company about re-drilling piles in. So obviously to make this area, this 60 metres out wider, which we've already got planning for with historical right to go in line with that bit there yeah. and this bit here out. So potentially, depends on our funds and obviously how much they quote for. How much do yeah. you reckon they'll quote for? I think anything from 250,000 to 500. That's but, mental. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that is before you even put anything on the pier. That's just literally for the wood, you yeah. know, to make sure it, it's safe. So are you going to plan to have actually anything on the pier or like a coffee shop maybe down there or like, what? Again, it's one for the future and see how we get on with it first. We did look at some a bit like we're Southwold and do like a nifty craft stall sort of thing yeah, on it. That says that's only sells specialist Claremont Pier souvenirs. Like it? E, like coasters, <laughs> hats, t-shirts, but something really quirky. Wow, so I've never seen a uh, a grabbing machine like that before. That's like a it looks like a present. How cool is that? If you like grabbing machines. How much is it to play? 20 people for one play, bargain. How's it going? What's your name? Good, Michael. Michael. Michael, I bet you haven't subscribed to my channel, have you? No. I bet you will now. I will now. The one place we still haven't seen, I guess, is where Victoria works and your office. Here it is. And this is what I love, look. You can tell it's a good family-run business. The baby's in here as well. I'll be able to be quiet, I think. <laughs> That is a lovely pram. I've got a six month old and wow. That was, that's that been from vintage. all of my mum and dad's grandchildren. Yeah, he's the 10th one in there. He's the 10th grandchild and there's another one on the way and all oh. of my mum's grandchildren have been Wait, in there. Oh, that is amazing. Who's that in there? Uh, this one's Benjamin. Benjamin? He's, he's the youngest at the moment. Yeah. Youngest? <laughs> on the way. Oh, bless. A it's a proper family run business. So what do you do? Uh, to be honest, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I help with the uh, stuff of the bar on Saturday, the uh, delivery. Not alcohol, <laughs> not alcohol. The delivery. The delivery, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah never never Megan is the best ice cream girl there is. Wow, yeah. Megan, do you want to do when you grow up? Do you want to be in the family well, business? Uh, I have different plans. I would look like going to the stock market and... Wow, do high things. aspirations. And, uh, be honest, Michael, and want... you want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> no one's changed. <laughs> but... You've got loads of coins oh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, is that? Yeah. yeah and obviously you've got a machine that counts them rather than you physically having well, to. Well, yeah, we weigh those. That's for all the other. Did you fix it? No. 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 Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh, we didn't mention this is this is Victoria's sister, yeah. Charmaine. So I just quickly wanted to mention this. You can actually own a piece of Claremont Pier, the old Claremont Pier. You can actually buy not only just bits of wood, right, of the pier, but what looks like, is, is it chiselled? Uh, it's lasered, I believe. Wow, so it's lasered, so you can see, it says there, Claremont Pier. You can actually own a piece of Claremont Pier. You can buy a small one or a big one. You need help with the end of the pier, so yes. you're doing some crowdfunding. Yep. But also, every 
one of these that people buy, that money goes towards the pier. Yeah, as we are a family business, we can't afford to fund the whole of the restoration of the pier. So we are using this idea as someone owning a piece of the actual old pier to help fund it really. So everything that's from this, the sale of these planks of wood, is going back into the restoration and hopefully getting us there a bit quicker than we could do it on our own. So honestly, if you love peers and you want to help these guys out, extend and bring Claremont Pier back to its former glory, they do need a little bit of help and buying one of these will definitely do that. See what I mean about the sand? It is so fine, this sand. It is truly amazing what is above us and how much they've got in this pier. It's not too many people keeping cool under the pier like I thought they would be. So here's where the old pier is looking a little bit sorry for itself. And a massive thank you to Victoria and the whole family for letting me look around their pier. And do you know what? It'd be a dream of mine one day to own a pier because I love the Great British Seaside. But what the family are doing is absolutely amazing and hoping to restore the pier to its former glory will be incredible. Thanks for watching the video. Please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you want to see more different videos like this, let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.